me very, very quickly go uh, to the uh, Turkey Women Cup, a different result that we were able to get because we had different matches, but of importance, the matches that I will tell you is the Chile against the Ghana game, where it is uh, uh, Ghana lost that game 3-0. Romania, they were also in action, and also a different result there, and actually they were not playing against uh, Ghana for that. It was against uh, Turkey, so some mix-up there. So uh, Kenya against Northern Ireland, a lot of people are talking and saying that it is Northern Ireland B, but all in all, it is Northern Ireland where Kenya were able to get that result. We talk about the fixtures. Today we will be having an important game when you think about the fixtures because the Kenyan Queens of Soccer, they will be in action and for them they will try as much as possible to see if they will get maximum points. And the maximum points they will try to play against Chile. Remember for Chile? Not an easy side, but they are beatable. Will uh, the Harambe Salads uh, beat them this time out? You really can't uh, tell. <clears throat> Northern Ireland on the other side, uh, sorry, they will be playing against uh, Ghana. So there is a lot of expectation. And this tournament, I know a lot of people will be following with a key interest because there is one uh, Kenyan, and that is Mwana Lima, who a lot of people were expecting to see if at this particular time she would have been playing her soccer in Sweden never the best of uh, outcomes because she was not able to get uh, that uh, visa so she had to remain back in the country she's not in sweden but at this particular time she is in turkey and for her i had uh, a, a moment with her and she told me that she will be taking the turkey women's cup with a lot of seriousness because she is expecting and she is believing that that is a bridge an important bridge that will make her dream of playing international league come to be a reality. Harambe Starlet's forward, Monalima Dogo Adam, is still dreaming to secure a move to Sweden. Her first try floundered after being denied a Schengen visa to travel to European country for trials and a possible move to the Gardens IF. But when you could your team to Garden, I said, I'm going to pressure sana to to me, I'm going to so wakasema ijatoka juu tuliwa pressure sana then kitu kingine siku tumia bank statement siku atumia so wakasema sisi tu appeal sijui nini so nikasema hapana tutafanya aje tuta nikitoka taki at least ndakuja kwa play tena kama ni yangu ni yangu kama sio pia mimi sina shida mimi napigana bado despite the torrid times in the women's Kenyan Premier League Stalets continue to impress with the likes of Fumathika Queens player Asia Kida joining Turkish giant Besiktas on a two year deal but for Monalima, one of the key and also integral members of Starlets, all is not lost. For now, the Kenyan soccer queens are the only African team to participate in the 2020 Turkish Women Cup, a tournament that Dogo believes will give her a second bite of the apple. So nikasema hapana tutafanya aje tuta nikitoka taki at least ndakuja kwa play tena kama ni yangu ni yangu kama sio pia mimi sina shida mimi napigana bado So mimi namwish well because atakuwa na make move after Turkey Women Cup anaenda Sweden so mimi namwish best of luck na I enjoy the tournament that tunaenda kucheza in Turkey While Mona Lima has been scoring goals for Starlets the midfield supply engine Cynthia Shilwatso got noticed and secured an important move to Spanish top tier side EDF Logrono while Eldoret Falcons duo of Anedi Kundu and Ruth Ngozi signed a three-year deal for Cyprus Bears club Lakatamia FC. Gaspo FC midfielder Corazon Aquino joined Portuguese top tier side Atletico Orinze. It's a good step for, for them to play professional so that a sweeter twist in the Kenyan women's soccer, and for now, its fingers crossed as Manalima Adam and other local players are tries to secure deals in Europe. Come, come to my interview. Moses Wahisi, Kenyan Sports. Yes, uh, a different uh, tie altogether. Let's talk about a different derby altogether, and it is a derby that will be the biggest match of the weekend here in the country. FC Lebrats 